are recording my new work called Rhapsody in Red, White, and Blue with soloist Jeffrey Beagle and the London Symphony Orchestra at Air Studios Lyndhurst Hall. And this will be released in conjunction with the centennial of George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, which is in February 2024. I've always had a very strong relationship with the music of George Gershwin, and I grew up playing Rhapsody in Blue in all its guises, from the simplest to the most complex. But then I realized that the centennial was coming up, and how can we celebrate the centennial? And I felt with a new piece of music by a living composer. So my first reaction was, He's crazy because how can I, as an American composer, attempt to write a piece that is going to invite comparisons to a unique piece of music? And so I really kind of turned him down initially, but he convinced me that he thought that I was the right composer to undertake this challenge. So I wanted to find a way to acknowledge that this was a Gershwin companion piece, tip my hat to George in some way, and there's one fairly substantial section of the piece which is a kind of bluesy scherzo. That is where we get this quasi-Gershwin music. Peter has a wonderful way of writing music that is very appealing to people everywhere, but in particular, the American landscape. The rhythms felt very natural to play, and it was just great fun, actually. I think there was really great writing for all of the instruments. It certainly kept us busy for the few hours that we had. In less than four hours, we were able to record this entire piece and it sounds like it's been around for 100 years, like Rhapsody in Blue. It's fabulous. This was the first time today that I conducted this piece. So there's a certain amount of pressure involved with all of that, but it all went extremely well, and I think part of that is because Jeffrey is just so committed to the music. There's no big ego, there's no airs, there's no pretension. We just did it. It's been an honor to do this project with the London Symphony. Knowing that we're putting down the definitive version is, is really special. You know, there's so much planning that goes into something like this, so much preparation, and then the moment finally arrives, and I have to try to both work hard and focus and do my job on the podium, but also I think it's so important to try to enjoy that moment. Working with the London Symphony was quite incredible. It's my third time recording with them, and each one has felt like a very special experience. <laughs> 